Today I am seeing lights in Madison, Wisconsin. I bought these tickets just because people said I should, honestly. I don't know if I've ever actually listened to an entire Lights album ever in my life, um, but I know she makes really good music and I've actually been going back and forth all day. I always say you sh if you aren't sure, you should always go. Um, I've just been cleaning for like the past three days straight and I've been having a little bit too much fun throwing things away and kind of want to keep doing that while it's still super bright out but I also know how important concerts are to like my health and I haven't been to one in a pretty long time in about a month because I skipped the last show I was supposed to go to too um <laughs> So I'm going to go to this one. I'm sure it'll be great. I mean, I know Lights puts on the most incredible shows. Like, I've only heard amazing things about the shows. Oh, well, I'm going to go anyways, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And I don't know what else I'm going to have to tell myself <laughs> to actually get out of my driveway. Because I was supposed to leave ten minutes ago. But <laughs> it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll definitely be fun. <laughs> if anything, it'll be a story. And... That's always important. Do it for the story. don't know what I was expecting um, but I'm not sure it was that openers let's let's we have to start with the openers um, <laughs> I didn't know what <laughs> we have to start with the openers um, okay DCF I don't know what I don't know what um, I didn't get any video of him because I literally like I felt like I couldn't move because I just didn't 
know anything at all. Like, I... nothing. Um, but now I kind of wish I would have at least gotten, like, a blurry picture or something so that you could see what I mean. Uh, he said that he goes by, like, Prince DCF, so he was wearing, like, a Prince, a prince costume, but really he just looked like George Washington in, like, 1776. Um, he also said that he's been compared to Hamilton and Cap'n Crunch, which, all true. And then he did, like, electronic and then rapped over it. Ended with an acoustic cover of Misery Business by Paramore. I swear, the entire set, my hands did not move. Like, they were just, like, there. And my face, the entire time, was just, like... Different variations of this. Because, like, I wanted to, like smile, but I also wanted to die. And then Chase Atlantic came on. I have no idea what they sang. Not a clue. Not a single clue. I could not exp- I, I, I have no idea what went on. All I know was that that was like very- <laughs> I think they were good. I think I would like give them another chance. Go them. And then lights came on. And remember, I've never actually listened to one of her albums all the way through. I've never actually paid attention. I was just kind of told you would like her, go see her. So I did, because that's really all it takes to get me to do anything is just to tell me to do it. It's probably not a good thing to admit. I loved lights. She did a little bit of everything. She did like the acoustic song. She did a uh, share cover. Um, she did, like, the upbeat, happy songs. You know, she did an actual set. Girl, what are you trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was also distracted. I forgot how much I hate college towns. Can I just say that? I hate college towns with my entire soul. And I'm in, like, one of the drunkest college towns in America. So, like, just put... You can figure it out yourself. Um, I... Lights was great. Like, I would definitely see her again. She literally had everything. And then she's she also wrote a comic that's gonna be coming out soon. I don't think it's out yet. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't actually know. Like there were like animations between like when they were changing and like getting water and stuff like that. There are animations of her comic like on the screen. And I thought that was like so sick. Like that's so cool. Like during the first song, I was like, I could have been in Austin right now because I almost Two weeks ago, I almost bought a $400 ticket to go to Austin to see, and that was, like, after the, she sang the first song, I was like, I could have been in Austin. Um, I didn't think it would, like, hit me until after the show that I could have been there, because I really wanted to go, but also, like, $400 for, like, less than 24 hours. <laughs> it's not a smart move, and, like, I'm not known for making smart travel moves, but, like, that would be really dumb. I think I'm, I'm, like, good that I didn't go, because lights was incredible like that's the point I was trying to make lights was incredible and it made me not like feel bad that I didn't just like go for it and spend the money and just go to Austin for 24 hours for South by um that that was the actual point it wasn't supposed to be like dissing lights like I could have been here no <laughs> it was like she made it worth like absolutely killed it I don't know what else to say I really really liked it and I want to like listen to her music more. Um, I knew more of it than I thought. And for somebody who never actually listened to her music, I knew I could do like full phrases for some of the songs. Like they were repetitive phrases, but I could do them. It was fun. She made a really good first impression and I'm really into it. My name's Kristen, thanks for watching. <sighs> Go see lights. She puts on like a killer production. Like it was not a big venue and she put on like an arena production. That's crazy. I love it. I love every single second of it. Go see lights. <laughs> I'll see you soon and that's a promise. Bye. <laughs>